Have you ever played a game that wasn't that great but you enjoyed it anyway? Well that's exactly what Lone Soldier is. A game that's not exactly top of the class or teeming with greatness but you still enjoy it from time to time. No, it really isn't. Lone Soldier is a game I reviewed back when this show, you know, did reviews. Bloody Good Time is not a bad game all in all. It will keep you entertained for a short while, but after that you won't really want to pick it up again. As opposed to whatever it does now. <laughs> and over the years my opinions have changed on this game. So let's try this again and have another look at Lone Soldier. So, before I started playing this game, I did a little research to try and get some context. But even Wikipedia's synopsis for the plot says it's relatively straightforward. Terrorist leaders in an intergalactic alien force known as the Varenians have stolen an experimental nuclear weapon. There is only one man who can stop them. A lone soldier, if you will. And that man's name is... Hank. I am going to kick their asses. <laughs> well, with that out of the way, let's start this game. The first thing you're greeted with after the logos is the main menu. Uh, damn, Hank's looking pretty pissed off. He looks nothing like that on the cover. This is actually something I addressed in my first video on this game. And this is the only game I've seen in my life where they have four different people to represent the main character. I mean, the one that you play as doesn't represent the one on the box, or the front screen, or the cutscenes. Hell, in-game his face looks like it was drawn in paint with the line tool. And in the cutscenes he's wearing different clothes. But this is all nitpicking. Let's move on to the game itself. Once you hit new game, it enters a loading screen. And you're playing the game. No tutorial, no intro cinematic, just, you wanted a game? Well here, dick clips have the game. There is actually an intro cutscene before the main menu. But it's so long and tedious, I always skipped it. So we enter the first stage and immediately get attacked by three guys. Jeez, can you let me find the controls first? So we shoot down these soldiers and that's pretty much the game. Okay, so there may be a few different enemy types or weapons you can use. But this is as bare bones as you can get. All you have to do to win a lot of the time is just hold down X and keep walking forward. Stopping only to shoot another soldier. Heck, you could even just run past the enemies to the end of the level. But the designers thought of that as you need to hit a kill count in order to progress. The controls are something that could only be described as a weird tank-like directional hybrid? So you hit left on the d-pad and Hank will turn left, but he doesn't do it instantly. He curves around to the left. This can make things difficult to pick up first time as you usually curve around the item. You can also turn on the spot by pushing R1 and L1. This is the best way to line up your shots, but he moves so slow. The enemy has already riddled me with enough holes to become a watering can at this point. Alternatively, you can push L2 and R2 to turn faster, but this just makes you overshoot everything. It's just a good job that the game's generous with the amount of health it gives you. So the first few stages aren't really a problem, and pretty much what you would expect from an army shooter. Killing enemy soldiers in the jungle and stuff. But then on stage 3, out of nowhere, you're suddenly fighting some ancient tribe who uses blow darts and fucking magic! I guess I can understand though. I mean, you're just minding your own business, being a lost tribe in the jungle when suddenly a maniac with a gun shows up starts burning your homes down, destroying your sacred statues and killing your people! The boss on stage 4 is just a joke. He's a shaman that turns into a giant bear. At least, I think it's a bear. Which might come off as being a challenge. But they give you a fucking flamethrower right before you fight him. Wow. After that, Hank's suddenly in a glider blowing up a bridge or something. And then you're in the mountains. This is basically just more of the same. Sure, you might get a few more landmines and tanks in this world, but it's basically rinse and repeat. I guess one of the most exciting things to happen is when the chopper shows up, fires its shot, misses, and then flies off again. Oh, and these two guys on this car. 
I shot one of them dead and the other doesn't really know what to do with himself now. So yeah, this is a little awkward. The boss of this world was a little bit more difficult, but that's only because I couldn't get right up and close with the flamethrower. I guess the designers learnt from last time. He still wasn't hard though. World 3 is the city, but not just any city. This is a city that has tanks, three-armed mutants, and freaking ninjas all over the place. And this is where the game gets a little more tricky. The enemies can hit you from further away than you can hit them. And now the game's just throwing waves at you. The worst part's gotta be this train. You have to shoot most of the people on it or you're not gonna hit the kill quota. But there's no safe place to stand when shooting at it. You can't shoot it while strafing or anything like that. So you just gotta take it. And these freaking ninjas just won't stand still. They're jumping all over the place like a kid on crack. crack. The bosses get a bit harder too. You got the one in the dress which is easy enough, but Smiler here just doesn't stop jumping all over the dang place. Stop jumping, you fucking maniac. Once those two are taken care of, Hank hops on a spaceship and goes to space. I mean, I knew there were aliens in this game, but to go from jungles to mountains to cities and now space... Seems like we've gone from skipping to full on long jumps. So this is it, the final world. And the game's figured Easy Balls isn't working and has decided to throw the whole fucking kitchen sink at us. We've got turret, men with lasers, mutant, turret, turret, robots, and of course, aliens. Turret. The robots won't shut up. It seems all I hear in this stage is intruder alert over and over again. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. There's an invincibility power up. Probably the first time I've seen one in this game. But look how long it lasts. Invincibility. What was that, like five seconds? Well, anyways, the final boss is more of a boss rush. First, you got this woman in a dress with a laser and a shield. Then you got this dude in a red suit rolling and jumping all over the place. Again. Then when you think you might have just got him, he turns into a fucking laser-firing, death-spinning, hank-killing machine. When he spins, he drains your health so fast, the only thing I can think to do is run around him in a circle. Other than that, you just gotta tank it and hope he dies before you. And when you finally defeat the last boss, what's your reward for beating the game? Really? Oh, there it is. Now, try the levels with your eyes shut. Okay, I guess. All right, here we go. Hey, you see, it's it's not that hard. No, I'm just bullshitting. I can I can see through the blindfold. All right, all right, this should work. This this here should work. Go, cool, it's died. It's died. All right. Basically, just hold X, and I guess. Take your time. I, I'm starting to think the developers were joking. Yeah, this um, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't working. Well, that was Lone Soldier, and it was yeah, it's something. But um, but let's see what Crank from ten years ago thinks. Or no, can I recommend Lone Soldier? Or no. no. It's kind of an experimental game that came out when the PlayStation first came out. It's an army-based shooter where you just walk forward and that's round about it. 8 out of 10. Uh, it's better than new um, Call of Duty or Battle, Battlefield. Um, I, 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 think, I hope that makes everybody happy. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop filming this video now because I, I need to um, go off and, and um, do more stuff. Uh, um, we'll do another Game Break review next 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 weekend, we'll um, we'll, it'd be it'd be good. It, thank you, thanks guys for watching. Bye.